Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. Today's video, I will be going over comments that I have never responded to, and I will be explaining why I haven't responded to them a little bit later on. However, first I have to say that I am very, very lucky, because here on my YouTube channel, I am very blessed that everybody is very kind and sweet. Those of you who do come to my channel know luxury fashion or know me, and we get to connect, and it's kind of like a cute little YouTube family that I built here. I don't really get a lot of rude comments, and when I do, I just always use the same reply as, you know, it's coming from your own insecurity, so God bless you with whatever you're going through, but just don't take your insecurity out on me or others. But most of my negative comments do come on TikTok. Personally, I do think TikTok is a very negative space. Everyone is very rude to me on there, so personally, I just end up staying away from it. But here on YouTube, I'm really lucky and everyone's nice. However, I do have some comments that I have never responded to. They're not necessarily rude, but I just don't know how to respond to them. Without any further ado, let's dive right into it. The first comment I have never responded to is this one that says, I think Louis Vuitton and Chanel are so overrated, whereas Coach is way underrated. Also, vintage Doonies are made far more superior to so-called named fashion luxury brands. And the reason I haven't responded to this one is very, very simple. Basically, anybody that tries to insult the quality of luxury designer handbags, and to me sounds defensive, usually tells me that luxury bags are not in their budget, and that's completely fine. They were never in my budget either until my late 20s. I used to fake it till I made it, and I finally made it. So I don't judge anybody for their bags or what kind of brand. Of course, you know from my coach video, I do think there are tiers of fashion and luxury fashion, and I will have that video linked right above and in the description below. But at the same time, I don't judge. So if I see somebody with a coach, I still think it's cute, but would I personally buy it? No. However, I will say that Chanel and Louis Vuitton the quality is going down a little bit, and I really do wish that they would fix it, because Chanel bags, the only thing that I regret in life is not spending $10,000 on four maxi Chanel flaps back when I was 20, because then I would have spent $10,000, I would have had maybe like four Chanel maxi flaps, and that would be so cool, but nowadays that, that would be $40,000 that I would have to spend. So even if I did put myself in debt and I did get those, I would have been able to sell just one of them and paid off that entire credit card. So I really do wish that I did do that back then because it would have been so worth it. And the Chanel Maxi Flaps are my favorite type of bag and the quality of them are so exceptional. When you do get one that's amazing quality, it is superior than any other handbag. To me growing up, it's never been about Birkins. In the 90s, it was always about the Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. So seeing a Chanel Maxi Flap, to me, that was my version of a Birkin. So would I rather have a Birkin or a Chanel? I would totally rather have a Chanel. But a lot of the people that just jump and just sound so negative towards quality, in my opinion, I just think it's like an insecurity and they're just kind of taking their own like madness out that they don't have something that they want out on my comment section. So that's personally how I do feel about that. And lastly, when it does come to comparing luxury fashion to coach, the quality is so much better because you have real lambskin, real calfskin, and coach, they make everything out of like cowhide leather, which is the same thing that a replica would be made out of. And again, coach is great quality. It's basic quality that every human being should have. So much better than going to like JCPenney or Walmart for a bag. But putting it side by side to the Gucci one, it, the Gucci would 1000% be this. And when it comes to Dooney bags, personally, I've never heard of a Dooney bag, so I can't really comment on that. Next, we have this comment, and this is exactly how I read it in my head. So... I'm not gonna get a Prada bucket hat because guess what? Steve Madden has some just as well and they are made from nylon as well. If I get something designed, it better be cashmere, silk, or fur. And the reason why I say it like that is because I used to say stuff like that all the time when I couldn't afford luxury fashion. I'd be like, oh my god, a Prada nylon bag? I would never buy it. But now I have a Prada nylon bag and I compared it to the fake ones and the nylon is so much better than a replica. Again, I'm not trying to judge or, you know, make anybody feel bad, but I am going to say that Prada's nylon is very superior because it's not the cheap kind. Is it overpriced? 1000%? Yes. It should not be $1,200 for a bucket hat. I would do like $450. I think that is a very reasonable price for a Prada bucket hat. But again, over $1,000, so ridiculous. But if you have it, you have it. And if you love it, you love it. 
And at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. So for me, for this comment, all I do is just picture my cute little 14 year old self being jealous that I can't afford a real Prada hat. So I have to get like a knockoff or a fake one. And I'm like, it's just as fine. I'm trying to justify it to myself. But deep inside, I wish I could have got the real one. So that's why I haven't responded to that comment, just because I don't really know what to say to it. And I don't want to offend anybody or be rude. But you know, that's my opinion. Next, we have two comments. So they're the same thing on each of my bathroom videos. It says, is it really hard to say if it's true to size or not? And the reason I haven't responded to these is because if said person watched the entire video, I would have said it yes. I've made it very clear about the sizes. I'm very, very descriptive. They run tight, they run small, but if you want a really fitted look, then the smaller sizes would be great. But if you want to be comfortable, then go up a size or two. And I say it all in the video, so definitely check out my bathrobe videos if you are interested. A lot of really great hands. I can't tell you how many bathrobes I have helped Versace sell. And if I had a commission on that, I would have such a huge amount of money. But one day, I hope Versace really does recognize me to the level that I think I deserve. Next, we have a funny one. It says cotton equals cotton. And they're talking about how I talk because a lot of the times I like flubber words. I am dyslexic, so sometimes I will think of another word while I'm saying one, and then I combine the words. But also sometimes I just don't pronounce them right. So like cotton, I say cotton with like Ds, which I actually think that's really funny. And I actually found that comment to be really cute because I didn't even notice that. But cotton equals cotton. The person also wrote a bunch of cute little like emojis with fruits and vegetables. I don't know what that means, but you know, that's that. Next we have this one which says Dove Shabon and I tried everywhere to translate this and I cannot translate this. Everything that comes up on Google Translate and Google is just like Dove commercials and Dove soap. So if you know what this means, definitely comment it down below because I would love to know and for some reason I just can't translate this. But that's why I haven't replied to it because the only thing that comes up is Dove soap. Burners, give it now. Next we have one on my Barbie movie doll collection, and this one says overpriced dolls should at least have with accessories. Also the $25 one, the classic, doesn't come with a doll stand, it's ridiculous. What they mean by that is the Barbie movie dolls, they do retail, the cheapest ones are $25, but they usually are all $50 or $100. Now I am very proud to say that I did get the entire collection because I am obsessed with Barbie. But I will say that I do wish that these dolls do come with stands. So that is something that I do agree with them on. Is it really overpriced? I don't think it's overpriced because a normal Barbie is $30. And the fact that this is a limited edition Barbie that is going to be such a collectible, I think adding an extra 20 bucks to it to make it 50 is very reasonable. But I do think that a lot of people, they do have a hard time affording it. I can't tell you how many times I go to Target and I see a mom tell her daughter or her son that they can't get the toy that they want because it's too much money or put the Barbie back because it's too much. I so bad just want to like offer them money and be like, do you want me to buy it for your kid? Because I never want like a kid to go without something that they want. But I also don't want to impose and make them feel bad and be like, you can't get it, so let me get it for them. So I do wish I could be nice like that, but again, I don't want it to be misinterpreted. But it does break my heart, because I'm like, get your kid the toy if you can. Every kid deserves the toys. So that one's kind of sad, and I really do hope this person does get to collect every Barbie that they do want. So we have this one on my Louis Vuitton Keep All video. It says promo SM. I don't know what that means, but I think they wanted to like, do like a shout out for a shout out type thing, and I'm not shouting anybody out for a shout out, so that's that. Next we have this one about the Versace La Ficanza collection, and this is such a good video. I loved this collection so much. However, this person didn't agree, and this person said, not feeling this collection, the prints aren't very attractive to me, and while I like wearing the logos of certain brands, I don't like when something is covered in their name. It makes me feel like a billboard. Also, the existing Summer Resort line feels like a Ficanza collection by itself already. So this additional collection feels irrelevant. I would have preferred an early release of Fall and Winter. I haven't responded to this one because, you know, it's just their opinion. I, I like the collection. If they don't like the collection, that's their opinion. Does it offend me in any way? Absolutely not. Like what you like, wear what you like. So this one, you know, I just left unturned. This comment's also on my Louis Vuitton keep all video. This one says, where can we detect the micro trip in the 55? I've been looking for it using the NFC tools on the app, but I can't find it, thanks. 
And what they mean by that is any of my designer items, they have a tag on the inside. So all you have to do is take your phone and put it right next to it and then it'll pop up and it'll open the link on the website or the authenticity section of the website. So if you ever wanna know something's real, you just hold your phone next to it and then it'll pop up on your phone if it has a tag on the inside. However, this one I have not responded to because I do get like a lot of foreign countries trying to make fake handbags and trying to promote their fake handbags on my channel. So what I do is I don't offer them that information. I'm not sure if this is a real person or not, and I don't want to help anybody fake a handbag. So if somebody is missing something crucial in a fake handbag, good, because that is a tell, and I, you know, I just don't want to help somebody create something fake. Can I buy the extra large Versace bathrobe off you? It is not for sale, but if it was for sale, it would be on my own personal website, which is developing right now, and I'm really excited about that, because I will have a store coming very, very soon. This one's actually by one of my friends, and it says, it's kind of too much. I like it, but not really. This refers to a Christian Louboutin tote bag that I uploaded on my channel. I actually don't even remember this post. So I'm I'm still not sure how to respond to this, but you know, it's my friend, it's their opinion, doesn't really affect me, so I just left it unturned. I do have this one as well, and this one is in a different language. This probably had to have been before Google Translate was something that I was doing when it came to comments. So this one I should translate. Let's see, I don't know if I can. But yeah, I can't copy and paste it, so I'd have to like type it out and stuff. So I'll put it in the comment section below what it says and how I feel about it. Next we have one about my Versace thong video. Just my opinion, why refuse something if you're not gonna wear it? I have a lot of comments like this about me not wearing like my Versace thong and underwear. I do have a part two to the original thong video. I will have both linked above and in the description below. The second video, I do try them on kind of. Like it's very discreet and very dignified me trying them on. So it's not like too scandalous and risque, but you know, it's still there. I do have an entire American Horror Story playlist that will be linked right above and in the description below. This comment refers to the murder house. I said that it wasn't haunted in the video because I did so much research and I talked to the people. They wanted me to say that it wasn't haunted, so I said that it wasn't haunted. Some people say that it is, so you know, I have never been inside, so who knows when it comes to me. But this person said that it actually is haunted. Read up on the history. It was once a covent. So, you know, there's that. I don't really care enough to really look into it. But, you know, there's that. What do you do for work? That is something that the world would love to know. Another promo SM one. I, I, I don't know what that means. I was going to buy this bag for my wife in red. And I saw the white Ferragamo bag and a Christian Louboutin twist bag. So I bought those instead. This is referring to my Lilac La Medusa up here. But if he bought his wife two bags instead of one, that is totally fine. And I hope she loves it. Another one in another language. Again, I will have it in the comments down below if I can translate it. Next comment refers to my Versace La Medusa mixed hobo bag. And this one says, do you still have the bag? I would be interested in purchasing it. Again, it's not for sale. And if it was on sale, I would make a post and have it on my website eventually. Next we have spam. Then we have another comment about my Versace mixed hobo bag. And this is saying that the bag is 50% off. So, you know, Versace, they do go on sale and they do have outlet stores. This is one that you might actually find in an outlet. I got another comment about a Versace outfit before. And I will tell you right now, like the Versace, Findace, La Medusa, and the regular black and gold one, it will not ever be in an outlet, but you will find the colored ones and anything seasonal like that. You definitely do go on sale, but when it comes to like the classic pieces, they never go on sale. Three more comments left, and again, the Versace bathrobe, it says, they may let you return it online. I think they said I could for my robe. The reason why they wouldn't let me return it is because they seen cat hair on it, so they said that I wore it even though I didn't wear it but my cat booster Penelope sheds so much. And I took it as, you know, like everything happens for a reason. I am really happy that I have the large and extra large because I was able to do that video and it was such a good video and I've helped so many people with it. So everything happens for a reason. And then I eventually got the blue one sent to me for free. So everything worked out. Next I think is an insult on my Versace bedspread. This person just wrote Etsy. Again, it's just their own insecurity. The person's probably mad that they can't afford the Versace bed. And again, I wish everybody could afford what they want because that's my biggest thing. I don't look at price tags. If I want it, I want it. I don't care how much it is. I'll make it happen if I really want it. And I feel like that's the mindset that everybody should have. Nobody should look at anything and be like, oh, you know, that's way overpriced because they either like it or they don't. 
So, you know, this person writing Etsy, I just think it's their own insecurity. And then another one about my Versace bedspread, it says, it looks so nice and luxurious, but I do think it is overpriced. Is the bed overpriced? To be honest, no, it's not. It's $980 for the bedspread, and when it comes to any other designer, they would totally price it for at least $2,000. So the fact that this one is actually obtainable and only $900, I think it is a great price, and I do think they could charge more, and God bless that they don't because, you know, I'm able to get it because of that, but I actually love this bed. It's so soft, it's so comfortable, and sleeping in it and feeling like a king and a queen every day when you wake up and go to bed, it's just, there's just no other bed that I would imagine myself having. So I love Versace, I love the Versace bed, and it will forever be one of my holy grails. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Comment down below how you feel about this video, and if I was too rude or too judgy with the comments. If I feel like I might offend anybody or stir any drama, I always try to avoid it because I just want to be like a nice person and not offend anybody. But I do also want to be honest and share my own opinion as well. And I know it looks like I probably have all the money in the world and everything that I've ever wanted, but I just want to be able to buy off my mom's house, support my mom, support my brother, and really just take care of my family. So definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel, spread the word of my channel. Only 30% of you guys are actually subscribed and come back. 70% of people who do come back to my channel are not subscribed. So you could even just put the notifications on silent so it's like you didn't even do anything at all. But definitely subscribe, it would really help me and my family a lot. So again, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and have a great day. Au revoir.